Last time we joined us, Paul Whitehouse told, told us about bringing the legendary Only Fools and Horses character Grandad to the stage. Now he's made some room on Grandad's chair to share with fellow comedian Les Dennis. Which is lovely. They're both telling us more next. But first, here's why it's one Dell of a show. See what I did there? Oh, oh, incredible. Wow. It was so good. Paul Whitehouse and Les Dennis join us right now. Paul, obviously, we've been we've spoken about this before. You yeah. performed on the show, which was just brilliant. Mm. You're now handing over the role to our Les. To Les, yeah. yeah. Go on, Les, on you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get no tips from me, mate. <laughs> it's Big a dog eat film. dog world out there. <laughs> and it's so 39 degrees. Do, <laughs> is this so you can do some more fishing with our Bob? Is that the reason for this? It, it's, a, it's a bit of that, Alison. Yeah, it, it is. Um, when I came back, I mean, I. I'm, I'm so old now that they have to, you know, I'm only allowed out for a certain amount of time. <laughs> then I have to go line You're my, younger than me. Line, <laughs> we know that. But <laughs> line me coughing for a few months, <laughs> regenerate, you know, and then I'm back. So, no, Les is... It's Leslie's kind of like a job share, isn't yeah. it? Kind of, so yeah. that's yeah. nice. I, do, I thought that would be a really good way to do the show, that yeah. every few months, because yeah. we're getting on a bit, we can only manage <laughs> getting an, getting another ageing comedian. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll keep about? the armchair warm for him. Yeah. When did you get the call? I, mean... I got the call um, a few weeks ago and I went to meet CJ, um, the director, and um, sat in the room, did this one lovely scene. It's the, the lovely poem that... It's a little lament says. Grandad has about his life. You know, he's sort of... With, with, a, with a musical, you know, you have to yeah. pull at the heartstrings a bit. And yeah. uh, I loved Leonard Pierce. You've actually worked with Leonard Pierce. Yeah, Le ago, Leonard Pierce and um, Nick Lindhurst. When um, we were here, me and Dustin G were here doing the laughter show. Mm -hmm. yeah. They were doing Only Fools at the same time. And they came in and did a sketch <gasps> as Grandad and Rodney, oh, wow. us, which was fantastic yeah. in the early days. And I, I loved Leonard. I always oh, said something so sympathetic great. about yeah. his character mm. and, and lends itself Soft, to the musical. Yeah, so you can explore, you know, sort of more emotional. And he has a... He has a little moment. It's, yeah, it's, a, it's beautiful. It was going to be a song, but it ended up as a sort of poem monologue with this yeah. lovely bit of music that I Jim went, Sullivan actually down, um, be, behind, behind. That was my but audition. But you, you know it, because you've been to see it at least, what, <laughs> three or yeah, four I times? Over there. Oh, I haven't seen right. it. Well, we you need come to see him. We to see him in it. You're going to go and see it with him in it, aren't you? Wait till I'm back. Don't tell you that to the people at home. Let's three, watch them both in the same week. Yeah. <laughs> the Leonard Pierce is really interesting because I went down a bit of a Leonard Pierce rabbit hole last night because obviously because you played both Grandad and you play Uncle Rodney as well. Un like, Uncle Albert, yeah. Uncle Albert, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, the, the reason I do Grandad and why we wrote that into the scenes because, as I say, he's a more sympathetic character. Yeah. But of course, a lot of people don't really know Grandad. He was only in the first two mm. series. Yeah. And, Uncle Albert is a much yeah, that's why more he's popular such an, character. He's such an iconic character, isn't he, yeah. Grandad? Considering so, yeah. he was only... And then he, yeah. he, Leonard Pierce, only, he passed away at 69, didn't he? I know. And when you see him, he always looks... He's like he's got that dad's army that field. Yeah, he's got, he looks, always looks like he's about in his 80s. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. can't yeah. believe he's only in his 60s. And oh, then I went yeah. down the Buster Merrifield <laughs> rabbit hole last <laughs> yeah. night. He started acting when he was 57. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. really Stop late. Yeah. Uncle Albert, yeah. Is yeah, I've only just started acting. In the canteen here, Buster said to me, have you got a pound for a cup of tea? And he, I gave him a pound and I never got it back, so I'll never get there it back. There you go. But he, was, but he was lovely. He kept saying to me, I owe you that pound, but I didn't want it back. <laughs> I just wanted to always say, so Buster Les, Merrifield owes me a pound. Yeah. <laughs> Les, how are you feeling? Because I know you went to see the show last night. Yeah. Do, is it a daunting oh, thing? Do you get nervous? How do you feel when I, you're I about to I was excited and, uh, and but, but loved it and was, as well as laughing, I found it really moving. It's, it's a poignant, really, it's a, yeah. it is a really poignant show. It's got all those um, elements that the, the show has, plus great songs. Yeah, I have to. I mean, you know, I'm not taking credit for all the songs because Jim Sullivan uh, wrote a couple of the be best songs in yeah. the show, and the ones that, are, that I take credit for, uh, I wrote with the help of Chaz Hodges. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You know, tragically. Yeah. Passed away yeah. again, you know, sort of before time as well. It's funny, um, it's, a, it's you know, it's a proper legacy show, really. Because yeah. obviously John Sullivan mm, yeah. passed, and his son Jim took up the mm. mantle, and then poor Chaz passed away. As well. Oh no, yeah, mm. yeah. You want to keep away from me? Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <happy>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favourite classic? Uh, only Fools and Horses moment, because mine is definitely the chandelier. chandelier That's yeah. my chandelier. You just, don't, you just never expected you it when it happened. No, I that mean... That was just yeah. not on anybody's mind. Never. Is you that thought, your favourite It moment? is, absolutely, Alison. Absolutely. It's my favourite because Leonard... Maybe Leonard Pierce is 
Look at that. It's just, it never Beautiful. gets old, does it? It, uh, it never gets because, old. because, you know, they're going to win. Yes. Yeah, for the first time, they're going <laughs> to win. And I hate that usually in things where <laughs> victory is cruelly snatched away. Yeah. But for that, it was done so beautifully, you know, yeah. and they only had one shot at it. Yeah. Because yeah. those, you know, so could good. do that chandelier. Did, and you that was then, did you get a chance what? to sit down with them when you, were, when you were writing the musical? Did you sit down with, with, with the original cast and chat? No, them? no, not at all. Just Jim. And Jim has got an encyclopedic knowledge of everything yeah. that went on. And, you know, and I, I was a fan from the early days. So I, th yeah, I know that John Sullivan wanted to base the plot on the episode dates where... Del meets right. Raquel. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we used that as a, as a, as a starting Template, point. And then yeah. I tried to get in all the gags that everyone wants to see, or at least a reference. Yeah. Like you yeah. said last night. Last night, um, they just mentioned, they say, you, you were rob robbing to my Batman. Yeah. And a bloke in the audience just started giggling and laughing and laughing and laughing because he just then remembered that yeah. wonderful yeah. scene yeah. 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 of them as Batman and Robin. <laughs> yeah. and my son, Tom, loves that. He laughs like mad if he sees that. Uh, yeah. I think that's the hardest bit, though, the fact that there's 20 years yeah. of comedy yeah. that you've got to pack just into this right. two-hour yeah. show, yeah. this musical. I, I just don't yeah. know how you did it. I think we're, it was a collaborative process, really, and, uh, you know, we, we just sort of whittled it down and down, tried to keep mm. those those big numbers and big gags of references in, but also we have to have the, you know, the, the, the actual musical numbers yeah. and dance on. Yeah. And you think, you know, a bit of you thinks, what are they doing much in a bay with my only fault? I'll knock them spark out. <laughs> but actually, you know, we win people around and yeah. people come round to it pretty quick. Yeah. And, and it doesn't seem weirdly unnatural, it does doesn't. it? It doesn't at no. all. When you came here, I actually thought, oh, Only Fools and Horses musical. Yeah. And then when you perform, as soon as you performed it, I went, that yeah. just totally mm. went. All the characters as well get their own little moment in the yeah. in the yeah. song, yeah, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking yeah. of knocking Spark out, I did this previous year, wasn't there? Because <laughs> you know, with Bob. That was a yeah. clever link, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very clever. I mean, oh, very clever. Thought, what were we thinking doing white collar boxing back in the day for comic I relief? Know. For sport relief. But you and Bob had a, 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 we, a we boxing match. Was it for comic boxing? Relief? Yeah, for comic Are you serious? relief. Yeah. yeah, three rounds. Proper tumping. Really, we we trained I was the fittest I've ever been. We trained. And just before in the dressing room, he came in to me, Bob, Amazing. and he said, he said, let's dance around a bit in the first round, <laughs> you know, cos I think we've got to keep it. It's a, it's a telly show as well. Yeah. And I went, OK, and I went out and he went, bang! Yeah. Like, <laughs> that is Can I just I saw stars. stars. That is typical cuddly Bob, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so and I, I've got to apologise, cos I was right in Bob's camp, you know? Yeah. And I was yeah. really horrible. I was going, come on, Bob, work the body. <laughs> come on, son. I go, don't leave anything in the gym. Yeah. But now, I so wish... Oh. You oh. caught him with a left hook well. and put him to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd have loved rematch. that now. Rematch, yeah, rematch. Rematch. Charlie Magri <laughs> said I was robbed. Yeah. He won on a split decision. Wow. Bob, so, yeah. rematch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> rematch. Well, listen, we're so excited to see you Lovely in to Only see Fools you. and Horses. Well. Uh, it's running at London's Theatre Royal Haymarket until January the 7th, 2023. But we, we're going to see this job share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Les, yeah. Les is there till then. And yeah. then, then uh, somebody... I can't uh, remember his name. Uh, Paul something? Bob somebody. Paul. No, Paul. 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 Bob Paul. Whitehouse. Bob back. Whitehouse. <laughs> <He's> back <laughs> then. <laughs> Thank you to both of you. Thanks, guys. Uh,